Throughout the harsh, frigid months of the Afghan winter, the seemingly insurmountable expanse of the Hindu Kush serves as an ideal sanctuary for the nation's most elusive predator. Snow leopards can be spotted at lower elevations during this season as they hunt for prey. But as spring arrives and temperatures increase, these majestic animals retreat to higher altitudes. Among the 12 countries that are home to these magnificent felines, Afghanistan stands out as an extreme example of temperature variation, with land surface temperatures soaring up to 50 degrees centigrade in the summer. Situated at 35 degrees latitude, the country's northern half lies at the intersection of subtropical and temperate zones, creating a diverse range of habitats that support a rich biodiversity. With almost 400 bird species, well over 100 mammal species, and more than 100 reptile species, Afghanistan boasts a wealth of wildlife waiting to be explored. The country's five climate regions, characterized by dramatic differences in topography and precipitation, offer a variety of landscapes including desert, woodland, forests, grasslands and rugged icy terrain, such as the narrow strip of land in the easternmost part of Afghanistan. The Wakhan Corridor is situated at the convergence of various mountain ranges, such as the Hindu Kush, the Pamir Mountains, and the Karakoram Range. It encompasses numerous significant river valleys at high altitudes, which serve as habitats for some of the most remarkable wildlife in the country. In 2014, the entire corridor was designated as a national park, leading to the strict protection of several animal species. Alongside snow leopards, brown bears and Eurasian lynx, there are various bovid species thriving in the alpine environment, including Argali and Siberian ibex. These bovids are preyed upon by snow leopards and bears. Among the smaller mammals found in the mountains is the stoat, which differs from its northern subspecies by not exhibiting a white coat during winter. Additionally, the region is home to a specialized flower transporter known as the large-eared pika. Bird life. International's important bird areas within the National Park include Big Pamir and Small Pamir. These areas are home to a variety of colorful bird species, most of which are residents rather than migratory. While the district of Wakhan is a small part of the Badakhshan province, it boasts a diverse range of mammals and birds, as well as thriving reptile populations. In this region, one can find the Siberian pit viper in rocky terrain, alongside the vibrant Himalayan agama, which enjoys basking in the summer sun. The climate in this area is also characterized by its precipitation levels. Panjshir province is known for being the center of the country's rainfall, contributing to extensive vegetation in the southern part of Afghanistan. The eastern highlands stand out from the rest of the country due to their unique topography, offering two distinct areas within this region. The eastern mountains may not be as awe-inspiring as those in the north, but they do have their own unique charm. These mountains give rise to the only conifer forests in the country, which are not only famous for their diverse range of trees, but also for being home to some of the most extraordinary animals in the country. One such animal is the rhesus macaque, the only primate besides humans that can be found in Afghanistan. Additionally, numerous bird species thrive in these forests, with some of them relying on the pine cone seeds for sustenance. Among the fascinating avian inhabitants, the Himalayan monal stands out with its incredibly vibrant plumage, which the males use to impress potential mates during courtship. These conifer forests begin in the Nuristan province in the north and extend southward, eventually merging with the desert regions. Surrounding these forests are woodland areas, which serve as the primary habitat for various creatures, including the Asiatic black bear, the country's second bear species. It is important to note 
but due to the extreme temperatures, these lush foliage areas are interspersed with vast stretches of barren land, including the eastern highlands. The arid region that separates the fertile forests of Nuristan from the southern areas of Afghanistan is characterized by high temperatures and low elevation. While most reptiles in this region prefer mountainous terrain, they are limited to the eastern highlands due to the daunting Hindu Kush mountain range. However, the leopard gecko is an exception as it can be found at higher elevations further west. Among the unique species in the east is the Bengal monitor lizard, one of only two monitor lizard species in Afghanistan. As we journey through Kabul, the capital and most popular city, we will return to higher elevations to explore another ecologically diverse region in the central highlands. This region boasts the majestic Hindu Kush mountain range, which is not only breathtaking in winter, but also a sight to behold in summer. One of the notable features of this area is a vast network of caves that provide shelter to over 30 species of bats in Afghanistan. Among them is the lesser mouse-eared bat, weighing a mere 26 grams, 0.9 ounces, often found sleeping in clusters during the day. The greater horseshoe bat is also found here and, like its mouse-eared cousin, is insectivorous hunting larger insects such as butterflies and beetles. Outside of the caves, the alpine grasslands are patrolled by a collection of carnivores, including two subspecies of grey wolf, the Indian wolf being found to the southwest and the Eurasian wolf to the northeast. Prey for the wolves consists of wild boar, which are widespread across Afghanistan, and a hardy species of wild sheep known as the Uriel. The world's most adorable yet grumpy feline is also found here preying upon the highland's equally adorable rodent species. Of the country's eight national parks, there is one in particular that gives Wakhan a run for its money. Bandi Amir was established in 2009 and features a set of deep, blue, high-altitude lakes that contrast sharply with the reds and greys of the surrounding mountains. The park is also categorized as one of BirdLife International's important bird areas, of which there are four in the central highlands. Perhaps even more incredibly to the south, a brackish lake at Dashtanawa contains a 10,000-strong breeding population of greater flamingos who spend their summers in Afghanistan before migrating south for the winter. After exploring the majestic mountainous regions of the country, our journey now leads us to descend to lower elevations. The northern plains in Afghanistan are renowned for being the most fertile area in the country, where the majority of agricultural activities take place, despite half of the land being semi-desert. Interestingly, it is in these arid and less hospitable regions that Afghanistan's reptiles shine. Among them is the toad-headed agama, a species found at the lowest elevations in the northern part of the country. These creatures use a unique shaking motion to bury themselves in the sand and have colorful flaps of skin on the sides of their mouth, which they use as a defensive display when threatened. The reptiles in the north also include the dwarf sand boa, one of three sand boas in Afghanistan, the barred wolf snake, a non-venomous species, and the Caspian cobra, a highly venomous snake considered by some as the deadliest cobra species. Fortunately, these snakes primarily feed on small mammals like the midday gerbil, which, similar to the larger-eared pika, collects vegetation to store in its burrow. These small mammals are also hunted by predatory birds, including the Saka falcon and the larger palace's fish eagle, both of which, unfortunately, face the risk of extinction. Other animals found in this region are the Tolai hare and the Karakal, a medium-sized feline with a wide distribution across the grasslands of sub-Saharan Africa and Asia. The arid regions of northwestern Afghanistan provide an ideal habitat for the Karakal. 
The Northern Plains experience some of the highest temperatures in the country, but there is one more location worth exploring that exemplifies its desert classification while still supporting a diverse range of wildlife. Although Helmand and Kandahar provinces are known for their extreme heat and harsh conditions, they are not solely composed of flat, sandy deserts. The mountains in the southern provinces are remarkably beautiful, and the turquoise blue waters of the aquatic ecosystems bring life to an otherwise barren landscape. Lake Hamun, located on the Iranian border, is particularly noteworthy as it hosts the most varied assortment of migratory birds in the entire country. With a minimum of five duck species gathering in large numbers, spending their winter vacation alongside beautiful great white egrets and a small group of resident Dalmatian pelicans. Towards the east, the Registan Desert hosts a variety of birds, including various sand grouse species, smaller birds like the trumpeter finch, and the crepuscular Egyptian nightjar, which hides in the sand during the day. The diverse desert invertebrates consist of praying mantis species and the camel spider, which, despite its frightening appearance, is harmless compared to the desert snakes. The saw-scaled viper is one of many intimidating viper species, lacking the horn-like projections of the Persian horned viper. Among the less intimidating reptiles are the Persian wonder gecko and the venomous shikari sand racer, which poses no threat to humans. The region's mammals, such as the chinkara and the goited gazelle, have an average lifespan of about six years and are scavenged by the striped hyena after death. Other carnivores include the widespread golden jackal, as well as smaller fox species like Blanford's fox and Ruppel's fox, which have furry pads on their feet and large ears for heat dissipation. The size of ears is a fascinating characteristic among foxes, varying greatly among the 22 species, all of which are covered in this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.